What's good YouTube, with Kill here, back with another video and today I'm going to take you guys along to Ross and to the thrift store with me. As you guys know, I'm trying to re-up on all of my inventory, so I'm going to be doing a lot more trip to the thrift, trips to Ross, trip to Burlington's, and of course the Nike outlet as well. So if you guys are interested in these type of videos, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And for those of you that are interested in any of the green consistency tees, I finally was able to stock up on some of these because these this color shirt was super, super popular. So it's really hard to get my hands on some but I was able to grab just a limited quantity So if you guys are interested in any of these make sure you hit that link in the description But without further ado, let's get into it Alright y'all, so we are in Ross and the first pair of shoes that I came across was this pair of Steph Curry's uh, basketball shoes I believe these are the Curry 6s in the Koi Fish colorway These are pretty dope in my opinion I'm not a huge fan of Under Armour shoes or their clothing for that matter But I do know some people really love uh, these Under Armour basketball shoes, especially the Curry's So I'm going to have to do some more research on these and see if they're worth it so I'll check those out in a little bit. Uh, next is this pair of Nike Air Max Tailwinds. Now, I've actually made some really bad purchases when it came to these Tailwinds in the past. Um, some of these were even in the outlets for as low as like 30 bucks with an additional discount as well. And Ross is asking 60 bucks for these. And they were also uh, B grades. Anytime I see if perfect on the tag in Ross, I know it must be a B grade. And for this one, for 60 bucks, with it being a Tailwind, absolutely no chance I was going to take those up. Uh, this was a really dope shoe in my opinion. Uh, this is a pair of, I believe these are the Climber Cools or something along those lines. I don't remember the name of this shoe, but really dope shoe in my opinion. I'm, a st I'm still a huge fan of the Boost material. I think it's super comfortable. Um, after checking the comps on these, they were kind of tricky. I seen some sell for like 70 to 80 bucks, but then I also seen some sell for like $40 as well. So anytime the comps are that tricky, I usually just pass on them. Uh, this is an interesting brand to be on the lookout for, especially if you're in the thrift. This is a pair of Teva sandals, and Teva's a really good brand, especially for the summertime. That's usually when they sell best for me. Um, they were asking 22 bucks for these, and as you guys can see, they were kind of dirty. It looks like maybe a return, or people, a lot of people just tried those on. But just had to show you this brand because Teva's really good to sell in the summertime, usually bringing like 40 bucks for me. And um, here's a pair of Adidas. I believe these are volleyball shoes, but I told you guys I just love Boost. And sometimes when you pick up a pair of Adidas, you kind of just got to check it out because some, some of these Adidas models sell for some good profit. Unfortunately, this one was not selling for that much, um, even though it said comparable value was 105. After checking the comps, they were really, really tough. Uh, this is also a pair of cleats that I probably would have picked up if this was last year. Um, but ever since picking up a bunch of those uh cleats and like football cleats baseball cleats and from on Clarence and Ross I've learned my lesson so even if it's $8.99 or 2 dollars I'm, I'm not going to be wasting my time with those uh, this is a pair of alpha boost um, I've seen these everywhere so I'm, I've just been passing on them now this is also a very interesting shoe at one point I was selling these for as high as 80 or as nine or as high as $90 because um, I was picking these up brand new in box but now that they've hit Ross the, the comps are really really bad so if you guys are seeing them I mean pick it up if you want but for the most part they're not selling as well as they used to uh, this is a really clean pair of nike night uh, adidas night joggers uh, i love this shoe but you know they just don't sell for that much money so anytime i see them i usually pass uh, this is another interesting shoe that used to sell really well for me in the past um, nike nike metcons i think when crossfit was more popular these shoes used to sell really really fast and for a lot of profit now for me they just not selling as well so drop a comment if you guys are still uh, flipping those but the size 13 in women's uh translates to 11 and a half in men's and that size was just completely flooded on ebay uh, here's a pair of i believe these are zoom cages um, i love selling tennis shoes uh, like shoes that are specific to the sport of tennis these really do sell well for me this particular model and colorway though is really flooded on ebay right now so i had to pass on those but still a really good shoe to be on the lookout for if you can find it in a good colorway uh, here's the clearance section in this Ross and as you as I told you guys earlier I'm just really really specific when it comes to the items I'm picking up even if it's on clearance now as you guys can see um, the price is here not that bad $6.99 for some shoes um, but the downside is that they're just in tough sizes so you're going to see uh, some good shoes but just in really tough sizes like for instance this pair of LeBron's I believe this was like a size 4 and I've been seeing this shoe ever since I moved uh, to my new house out here so this shoe, I'm, I'm definitely been passing on it. Maybe if it was 20 bucks, I'll probably take a chance. But for that size and that price, still can't take a chance on it. 
Here was a pair of Kyrie's. These are now reduced. Uh, they're asking 38 for those. Um, still a little too much, especially in that size. Um, size 6 in this pair of, I don't remember the name of these, but I told you guys before, most Boost sneakers still do sell well. And I sold this pair in the past for like uh, maybe 50 bucks, but it took a very, very long time to sell because I had a, a tough size as well. Um, here's some more baseball cleats, uh, $8.99. Um, at one point, I was seeing these cleats for like $4.99 or $2.99. But of course, ever since the pandemic, Ross probably took a really big hit. So even though they're going to be reducing stuff, they, I doubt they'll be reducing stuff to, you know, to as low as how they used to have it reduced before. And that's another reason why I'm not going to be picking these stuff up. Because if it's $8.99 here, that means it's $8.99 everywhere else. And it'll probably only sell for 20 bucks at the end of the day. Um, here is a pair of those Nike SFB boots, and I've been seeing those everywhere, so had to pass as well. Now, we are in the thrift store, and this is a really clean uh, messenger bag, but it's of course, it's with the purses and stuff like that. Have to pick this up. You don't see these types of pieces often, and these usually do bring in some good profit, especially in this condition. This is really, really clean. Um, no tears, no holes or flaws or anything like that, so... I'm definitely going to be taking a chance on this one. Um, hopefully they have another one in here because sometimes they may have some sets, but um, I'll definitely uh, look around the store, see if I can find another one. Now, this bag, uh, this mini, uh, I guess you call this like a mini backpack. Uh, these fossil bags usually do sell pretty well for me as well. Um, I like selling leather bags because they usually sell pretty quickly. So this one is only $2.99, so I'll definitely be taking a chance on this one. And I should sell this for at least maybe 30 or 40 bucks, especially since the condition on this one is so clean. Now here I'm in the clothing section and I came across this really nice leather jacket and when it comes to the clothes I'm not picking up as much clothes as I used to but I still always check it out because you never know what you'll find and I've actually sold this brand in the past. This is uh, from Scully Leatherwear so this is a really clean uh, I guess you could call this one a blazer or a jacket whatever you want to call it but the comps on this jacket was really really strong so definitely going to be taking a chance on this one. Um, this one might take a while to sell but who knows it is that season where people are picking up um, jackets and blazers and stuff like that so I'm definitely gonna take a chance on that uh, speaking of jackets and blazers here's a whole Halloween suit um, I, I had to check the comps on this one as well because as you guys know uh, some random stuff usually does bring in some good money um, but after checking the comps on this one they were selling for like 25 bucks and I seen and they were asking I think 15 bucks for this one in this thrift store so I definitely have to pass on that but you, you really never know what you come across in these thrift stores man these I don't know he I don't even know who donated that like who who even wanted that in the first place but it is what it is. Uh here's some of these dog hats uh dog dad hats. Um I was actually thinking of picking all of these up because they had a few of these in the store. Um drop a comment if you guys would have picked these up. I know um when it comes to some of these hats if you can get them, you know, brand new in a bulk, you know, you might be able to sell them for maybe 15, 20 bucks. Um drop a comment if you guys would have picked those up because I I, I thought it might have been a good idea. Um, next, I seen this Burberry button up shirt and it actually had like a tag from the real real. So clearly this was either in the real reels inventory or maybe somebody tried to sell it there and they just, you know, redonated it. Who knows? But uh, Burberry, of course, is a really good brand to be on the lookout for. But the downside to this shirt is that it has French cuffs. And from my prior experience, anytime I have a shirt with French cuffs that, that requires cufflinks, it takes forever to sell. So for that reason, I had to pass on it. All right, y'all, so I just came across this uh, Reebok Authentic stitched Mike Wallace jersey, and he used to play for the Steelers. Um, he, he might still be playing for them, but I don't think he's in the league anymore. Um, surprisingly, a lot of people had these Mike Wallace jerseys listed. Um, they were selling anywhere between like 20 and 25 bucks, but since so many people had these listed for sale, I ended up just putting that back. And then right next to that was this blank Ed Hardy jersey. It just had like a little spell out on the back. But surprisingly, these these T-shirts, especially if it has a larger graphic on the front, they're selling for like 20 to 25 bucks. So I don't know. Maybe Ed Hardy's making a comeback. Drop a comment if you guys have been selling that brand. But I don't, I don't know. I was shocked. Uh, next to those was some of these uh MLS jerseys um, that one that one was from the LA Galaxy if it had David Beckham's jersey number on the back or his name on the back I probably would have picked that one up but um, some of these MLS jerseys take a real long time to sell so I just had to put those back as well 
And next to that was this, you know, vintage Reebok windbreaker. And this is the type of stuff I used to rock when I was in college. But uh, the, the Reebok windbreakers, they just don't sell for that much profit. All right, y'all. So we are back in the crib. And as you guys can see, I wasn't able to grab up too many items from the thrift store. Even though I did see some quality items out there, I'm really being super specific with the items that I'm picking up. And I'm trying to focus on items that will bring in a higher ROI. So even though I did see some good stuff out there, I passed on the majority of it. But I still wanted to share some of those items with you guys guys so let me just show you guys what I actually did pick up and one of the items that I picked up actually sold already so I'll share that later on as well but I picked up this leather jacket it was kind of like a leather blazer type of jacket and this is from the brand um, this was from Scully Leatherwear I actually sold Scully leather vest in the past I think I even sold like Scully leather hats in the past as well and this Scully brand usually does sell for some good profit the only downside to this and this is something that I realized as soon as I got home I don't know how this like got past me because as you guys can see in the vid I even looked at the sleeves but I didn't even notice on the front they were actually missing the buttons on the front usually these type of jackets have at least two buttons on the front maybe two sometimes three buttons on the front but both buttons were missing off of this so that's definitely gonna impact the price and after checking the comps I seen one sell for like a hundred and I think 160 bucks so that's definitely gonna impact the price I might not be able to pull that much because of the missing buttons but I'm still gonna list it pretty high and hopefully it does sell in a decent amount of time because at the end of the day this one wasn't a good size it was a size extra large and at the end of the day it's a really good soft quality leather jacket and people that are looking for the scully brand i'm sure they'll still be willing to spend a decent amount of money on something that's this high quality Next up was this vintage Ralph Lauren purse, and this is kind of like a purse or a messenger bag, whatever you want to call it. I'm probably going to use both of those in the keywords to try to grab some more attention, but this particular like black watch color is really, really popular, and I've seen Com sell for as high as like 90, even as high as like 100 plus for these bags. So I'm definitely going to be listing this on the higher end, even though this might take a little long to sell because it kind of is like a, a kind of rare, unique kind of item. So it might take a little longer than a month for this one to sell, but considering the fact that I only spent like four or five bucks for this I think it was definitely worth it and I've sold bags like this in the past with this similar pattern and it sold for like 50 to 60 bucks and it wasn't even in this good of condition so I definitely had to take a chance on this one especially since it was so cheap now the other bag that you guys seen was actually like a fossil mini backpack and the good thing is that one already sold I believe that one was $2.99 and that one already sold for $39.99 and I was able to put that in a padded flat rate envelope so overall I was able to bring in some decent profit and it was a super quick flip I think as soon as I listed it, it sold within maybe two or three days after that. And last but certainly not least, I'm actually going to be listing my old camera. This is the camera I used to take with me to do a lot of these trips to the thrifts or trips to Ross, mainly because it was so small. And it also had that flip up screen, so it was really good for vlogging as well. But since I recently just upgraded my phone, I figured I might as well just sell this camera since I'm not going to be using it as much. And this camera is the Sony RX103. Now, the good thing with this camera is that it's a super good quality camera, really good for video and for photos, but at the same time, this camera is still selling for like a 300 bucks on eBay as well as like OfferUp and Facebook Marketplace. So I'm going to list this one on eBay, but I'm also going to try to sell this one locally for at least 300 bucks, and that should bring in some good profit. Considering the fact that I thrifted this maybe three or four years ago for like $25, and I've been using it ever since. And of course, I'm just going to include, you know, my extra charger, extra batteries, uh, I think I have some extra memory cards laying around the house as well and this really nice uh, Sony leather case that comes with it. So I'm just gonna sell it for the complete bundle. And since I'm selling it as a bundle, I should be able to bring in some more profit as well. But like I tell you guys all the time, when it comes to reselling, I always try to sell some of the items that just laying around the house that I'm not putting good use to. And something like this is a perfect example, especially since it will be able to bring in so much profit. All right, y'all, that's all I got for today's video. So if you guys enjoyed that one, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you guys are interested in the new olive green consistency tees, Definitely hit that first link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.